juvenile thymus, H&E staining. The thymus is covered by a connective tissue capsule that extends processes, or trabeculae, into this organ. Blood vessels penetrate the organ along with the connective tissue of the trabeculae. The microscopic image clearly shows that connective tissue trabeculae are relatively shallow and divide primarily the external areas of the organ. The peripheral cortex and central core are the main architectural components of the thymus. Identification of these regions is relatively simple using the presented routine histological staining, H and E. The thymic cortex stains much more intensely than the central core. The reason for the different staining of thymic compartments is the uneven distribution of thymocytes. The greatest number of thymocytes are found in the cortex, whereas much less are present in the core. The thymus is the only organ of the human body with epithelial stroma. The role of thymic epithelial cells goes beyond the supportive function. They play a key role in controlling thymocyte maturation. There are four thymic epithelial cell subpopulations. Their identification in the presented histological specimen may be based mainly on their location within the organ. Let's start with the subcapsular cells which will always accompany the connective tissue. Then where is this tissue actually located? In the capsule, trabeculae and the immediate vicinity of blood vessels. In each of these regions, there are subcapsular thymic epithelial cells, one of the functions of which is to separate the organ's parenchyma from the connective tissue. Cortical thymic epithelial cells are another subpopulation. As mentioned earlier, the cortical area is densely populated by multiple thymocytes, therefore it is relatively difficult to identify a single epithelial cell in H&E staining. Thymic cortical epithelial cells, also known as chaperones, form specialized complexes with maturing thymocytes. Research conducted by a research team from the Department of Histology and Embryology of the Poznan University of Medical Sciences has shown that the microenvironment of these structures is responsible not only for inducing thymocyte proliferation, but also for the controlled induction of apoptosis of these cells. The thymic core epithelial cells, as the name suggests, are located within the thymic core. Here, their identification should pose no problem due to the smaller number of thymocytes. What are we looking for? Unlike thymocytes, epithelial cells will be characterized by abundant cytoplasm and a brighter, more heterochromatic nucleus. Let's try. Here it is, a thymic core epithelial cell. Here's another one. Finally, the last and most unique population of thymic epithelial cells, the Hassel's corpuscles. These are structures that can be considered a morphological marker of the thymus. Limited to this organ, they are always located in the thymic core. Hassel corpuscles are composed of concentrically arranged epithelial cells, which may show signs of keratinization, hence the visible dark red staining of individual cells included in this structure. <laughs>